Everybody, Gabe here, just want to do a quick kind of throwback Thursday and idea on mindfulness and happiness. Throwback Thursday to uh, my alma maters there, Benilde St. Margaret's. I was a red knight there at uh, Benilde, Minnesota. And then Tommy, University of St. Thomas, actually uh, Tommy a couple times over for going back for uh, many MBAs and lots of other uh, courses and credentials. Uh, so shout out to those places. Love both the places that I came from as far as my education and further education I've done other places. But I want to talk a little bit about mindfulness and uh, happiness and uh, what it takes to be uh, successful, you know, today in society, um, especially in the U.S., we're kind of geared towards uh, judging people, right? You think about, you get out of bed in the morning, you start judging people. Uh, you might judge people that you love and the things are doing wrong, or you might judge coworkers, you might judge your boss or uh, customers, but uh, judging doesn't help us at all, right? Judging affects us, uh, stops our ability to like, and let's go f- further forward is to love those other people. So say, uh, you love people, but you're judging them. Uh, those two things can't coexist at the same time. You can't love somebody and judge them at the same time. So uh, for today, for Throwback Thursday today, I just talk about a little bit about mindfulness and judging. So when you get up in the morning, make the idea or set out in your mind that you're not going to judge people. Uh, set out in your mind that you're going to like people, that you're going to love people for who they are, but that you're not going to judge what they're doing. Uh, you want to pay attention to what you're doing internally. Um, I get up every day in the morning and t- t- give myself a little mantra. And it's really uh, two things. It's uh, who do I want to be today in the world? So today I want to be a loving, kind father, uh, a great coworker and team person in my team, a uh, responsive and helpful person to the customers that depend on me for getting trained in what they're doing here, uh, a loving husband to my wife, and just the best person I can be in the world. Uh, So that's who I want to be. And then what I want to bring into the world, too, is part of that. Um, It's not exactly the same thing. So what I want to bring into that, uh, I want to bring in as much positivity and caring uh, and non-judging behavior as possible. So kind of my mantra for the morning that I do every morning is what I want to bring into the world today and and who do I want to be today in the world? Uh, And I do that every day. Get up and think about what I'm going to do today. Um, You know, the past is the past. We got to focus on what we're going to do today, uh, taking everything one day at a time but also focusing on that long picture. And that's where that long picture gets into uh, not judging people. So like I said, you can't love slash like and judge people at the same time. We all have enough uh, issues going on. Everybody's got issues in life that they're dealing with, uh, issues in their relationships, issues in jobs, issues at their home. Um, Everybody's got all these things going on all the time. So I would say for today, at least, try not to judge people. Go out and focus on being as positive as you can. And it's interesting to see, uh, being as positive as you can to other people uh, see what comes back from that today. I'd be interested in hearing comments on what you guys get out of being super positive to everybody you meet today. As far as maybe there's a janitor that works at your office building saying hello and how's your day going. Uh, somebody you meet in the elevator talking about the weather or seeing what their plans are for the rest of the day or just, you know, striking up a conversation, even if it's just a small one uh, and asking somebody, you know, legitimately and honestly, you know, uh, what they're doing today, how they're doing. And just showing that you care about people because that's what being a person's about. It's being human and that human aspect seems like it gets out of uh, everyday work life a little bit. And sometimes if we're not careful, it can also get out of our relationships, you know, our, our, our wives, our girlfriends, our children, our parents. Um, we fall into these, these judging, harsh relationships where um, that human connection isn't as tight as it should be. And bringing that back around to mindfulness, you know, uh, being mindful of what we're doing increases our happiness and that increasing our happiness makes us uh, not just more successful people, but, uh, you know, we live longer, our stress hormones go down, we usually do better at work and in life. So everything kind of ties together, right? Be mindful about when you get up in the morning, the mindset you're going to have in the day, every day, reach out and have those connections with people, you know, be a human person, say hi to people, be nice to people. And then also internally, uh, just see how you're doing internally and be kind to yourself. So happy Thursday.